Okay, so now this whole sequence of steps goes up because I came over here and then it came up above this. I probably should have gone up here and come down. <coughs> but get in mind, we're moving up the board here. So our premise is, uh, and incidentally, this is the, uh, oh, man, something wrong with that shoulder. I'm going to have to write left handed 17, 12, maybe I can write with my left hand, oh, five. Okay, it's probably more legible than my right. Um, okay, so we have a, a, a question on the 1205 document uh, that uh, says, okay, let's assume V1 and V2 and V3 are all perpendicular to one another, which is what I've just said here. And let V be the vector C1, V1 plus C2, V2 plus C3, V3. And let V have the property that it's not product with V1 or V2 or V3, that none of these dot products are zero. All these dot products are non-zero. Then we want to prove that V1, V2, and V3 are linearly independent. Okay, well, the proof. First of all, uh, V1 dot V is V1 dot C1 V1 plus C2 V2 plus C3 V3. <coughs> and that comes out since V1 dot V2, V1 dot V3 are both zero. Um, the only thing that's non-zero is the V1 dot C1 V1. Um, so that this sum that we get here is just C1 magnitude of V1 squared. C1 V1 dot V1 is C1 times the square of the magnitude of V1. Well, from the premise that V1 dot V is not zero, I was looking for the premise so I could point to it, we determined that this can't be zero, which means that C1 can't be zero, and the magnitude of V1 can't be zero, and that's Actually, it's the fact that the magnitude of V1 can't be zero that's critical to this. It's actually, it's pretty simple proof. Okay. Well, then we can also say that C2 and V2, magnitude of V2, C3, magnitude of V3, none of these can be zero. Uh, so, from that, and I kind of leave this as an exercise, uh, we want to conclude that these three vectors are linearly independent, which means that C1 V1 plus C2 V2 plus C3 V3 can equal zero if and only if C1 equals C2 equals C3 equals zero. So can we use these ideas, perhaps modify them a little bit, perhaps make them a little more specific, and prove the linear independence?